This first one I have for you was uploaded by Screamfest, the coat maker. Mmm, that thunder. Put your headphones on. It's about to get spooky. Okay, here we go. Yep, I got my phone on silent all the time. Basketball finals tonight. Hate when that happens. Oh, wait, what? I just fell down. It was an accident. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, I got chills like crazy. That, that mannequin does not like that coat. I'm fighting that mannequin. No way. Ooh. I've never seen a light switch like that. Like a timer. Press it again. Oh, you only had 1%. Wait, you're locked in? Oh! Now that's how you start Happy Midnight Stories. <laughs> well, welcome back to another episode of Happy Midnight, Midnight Stories. Stories. I'm Danny Zhu. We're going to be watching a few horror films. If you like what we're doing here, go ahead and stop the like button. The Coat Maker. That freaked me out i love how we starting this the little the the, the light how it's a timer and it turns off that's kind of genius i've never seen it before but i really liked it some of you've probably seen it millions of times and looking at me like bozo that mannequin was not happy about that coat <laughs> scream fest Weird, buddy. You're weird. This next one I have for you was uploaded by ACM Official. Camp Hell. Ah! 
Damn. That scared the shit out of me. ACM, yeah. stop with the freaking jump scares. Bye. These headphones. No. No. I'm buying a new phone, I guess. I don't know if I'll be brave. I wouldn't, no. I wouldn't get out of my car. Took a little too long to get in that car. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? First off. I thought that was like a carnival, not a camp. Especially, you saw the little thing in the back. What? <laughs> they all just going up straight to hell? We're doing, I guess, I don't know. Nothing? Is there more? Is there, am I missing something? Am I missing, am I missing something? What? <laughs> this next one I have for you was uploaded by Dark Fun, The Elevator. Ooh, Converse again. We had Converse in the last video. Mmm. Little missing patient. Plus one. A building with a rich and misunderstood history that has stood the test of time since 1896. From the outside, it may seem like just another grand old building. The way she chews that gum. The eye. 12 plus 1 has failed. No respect. Yeah. You better throw that gum away, put it in a napkin or something. 12 plus 1 has faced its fair share of troubles over the years, with rumors of strange happenings within its walls and a dark past that has yet to be fully uncovered. That was a different elevator. You disrespected the freaking elevator. Hey. Take the gum up. I'm a sec here. I'm a sec here. Can you hear me? Help? Help! <laughs> No one helps you, poor girl. Damaging properties is illegal and constitutes a violation of both civil and criminal law. That includes sticking your pink chewing gum in public places. Yup. Are you? Welcome to building Pick number 13. Up your trash. I hate people like this. She going where I think she's going. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. Nope. I'm sorry. Ugh. Being sorry for rude behavior is a sign of good social manner, but there are always consequences that one must face. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 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 
to make hey. up your mistake. Right, I'm sorry on the mirror in front of you with something very special. Wait, what? Okay. What? You can easily find it above your head. What is it? What is it? What is it? No. No. Are you kidding me? It's not that. It's not that. Denying your deserved punishment is not. We continue descending until you make. It's not that serious. And the concentration of oxygen decreases significantly. This means that a person descending deep into the earth without proper oh, equipment and protection wow. would experience a lack of oxygen and would not be able yeah. to breathe. Additionally, the extreme temperatures and pressure would cause damage to the body's tissues and organs, leading to an inevitable death. Wow. <laughs> Accepting your punishment is a sign of mature human being, oh and it is my constructive for both God. society and person. I do it. I do it. Don't. No. 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 You no. don't feel anything if you make it quick. I promise. Oh. Come on, girl. Oh. Great. I knew you could do it. Just one more thing to do, then we go back up. Just write you sorry and everything will be over soon. Like the nightmare you wake up from and you're happy to see the sun again. She can't do it. She's going to die before she does it. Wow. She can't spell. She was never getting out of there. Fantastic work. Let's get back up. What the frick? <laughs> I'm never gonna chew gum again. I'm never getting on elevator again. I'm not gonna be able to sleep. Welcome to 12 plus one. Yeah, no freaking way. No freaking way. No freaking way. The elevator. Ugh. Why did she get all like crazy at the end? I guess she got delusional because she had no air in her. Or she had a lot of air in her head or she, I don't. How does that work? Probably would have died down there because I don't think I could see myself cutting myself. That was a pretty fast episode, but I really did enjoy it though. Every film was very dark. That was fun. I really enjoyed it and I hope y'all enjoyed it. But well, that does it for Happy Midnight nice Stories, guys. Let me know which film you like the most, or maybe which film scared you the most. I'll see you in the next one. Sweet dreams.